Each week, American History TV's American Artifacts takes viewers behind the scenes at archives, museums, and historic sites. In March of 1921, President Woodrow Wilson and his wife Edith left the White House at the conclusion of his second term and moved into a home on S Street near Embassy Row in Washington. The President's room is across the hall. As we go into the room, you'll see uh, President Wilson's clothing still hanging uh, here in um, the closet. She Wilson right was here. an avid golfer. He, uh, he played just about daily um, he's with uh, his physician and friend, Dr. Grayson, um, so he thought it was medically um, prescribed, certainly, to play golf daily. And even in the winter months, um, the Secret Service actually painted some of the golf balls uh, an orangey red so that if there was snow on the course, the, they could easily retrieve Wilson's uh, many lost uh, uh, balls. This is a very famous coat, uh, Wilson. From the White House years, um, believed to have been given to Wilson by the Australian ambassador, um, it's uh, wombat uh, on the collar and kangaroo. Uh, a stadium coat, a college coat certainly, uh, and there's great images of Wilson uh, wearing this uh, on the trip to Paris in 1918. Uh, 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 Wilson was the first American president to uh, have dinner with American troops on foreign soil, uh, along with General Pershing. Uh, just outside of Paris, they had a wonderful Christmas dinner, and Wilson uh, is seen reviewing the troops uh, on the battlefields um, in this uh, particular coat. So let's see. This uh, is a wonderful suit of clothes made by Bastable of New York uh, to the Honorable Woodrow Wilson, um, April 11th, 1912. So, um, suit of clothes that Wilson uh, used. Um, during the campaign season of uh, 1912, that famous election where three presidents, um, Teddy Roosevelt running against uh, the Republican candidate, uh, William Howard Taft, and this uh, one-term governor of New Jersey and president of Princeton University uh, would uh, beat them both out, not have a mandate, not have a majority, uh, and become um, the 28th president of the United States. And um, this uh, cutaway here, uh, also by Bastable of New York, the Honorable Woodrow Wilson, uh, January 1913. So here we have um, the suit of clothes that Wilson took uh, the oath of office uh, in March of uh, 1913. The National Trust and the Wilson House have been very good stewards of uh, our collections. Uh, entrusted to the nation. We have over 8,000 objects uh, that we care for, uh, including um, a very iconographic artifact here um, is Wilson's fav famous um, silk top hat. And again, you can see uh, many, many gentlemen wore a uh, silk top hat, so it was always important, certainly, uh, to have uh, some way of identifying your hat. And there you see WW embroidered uh, to the bottom. And there you go. All those images of Wilson that we see um, wearing a top hat. Uh, this would have been uh, the top hat. There's also a theater hat, you know, a collapsible hat as well in our collection. But also, you know, there were a casual time, so there you see a Panama. Uh, and hanging on the hook on, uh, on regular daily occasions, uh, just a general fedora that Wilson, again, uh, would wear out and about as well. Academic robes uh, to the back of the closet. Uh, Wilson, again, uh, the only president to have an earned doctoral degree, um, a degree um, doctor of uh, philosophy from um, Johns Hopkins University in 1885. Wilson is also, I believe, uh, to this day, the president with the most uh, um, earned uh, as well as honorary degrees. Wilson received over 49 honorary degrees, many of which he received prior to um, being president of the United States, um, but including from the great universities of Europe, um, the Sorbonne, the first honorary degree that the University of Paris ever issued uh, was to Woodrow Wilson, so quite an accomplishment.